you're a dancer back there, Thank man. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. All right, you want to talk about New Testament versus Old Testament? We're talking about the New Testament. Oh, well, that's not my business because I'm Jewish. I know that. Yeah. Well, I, I, but, you know, in the Old Testament, right, there's two pictures of the Messiah. You want to say other things. You ever read Isaiah 53? Yeah, I've read. All we like sheep have gone astray, we're turned everyone to his own way. Yeah. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Yeah. You ever read that? See, the two pictures of the Messiah, one Messiah that's going to rule and reign and bring peace and save the nation of Israel, okay, and deliver the people and bring world peace and the millennial kingdom and all that. But the other picture of the Messiah is the Messiah that's going to suffer and bleed and die for the sins of the people. See, well, it is. I just Isaiah 53. Read the book of Isaiah, yeah. chapter 53. Okay. Read Psalm 22. It's a perfect description of crucifixion. Now, you as a Jew should understand that. <laughs> hey, oh, that's, you as a Jew. That's a lot. Now, listen, listen to me. Did God tell Moses to have the Passover lamb? Do you believe in the Passover? Yeah. Okay. And what did he do with the blood? They put it on the doorpost. And why did they do that? Yeah, but why? God says, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you, right? And did God, you read the book of Leviticus? Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11? When God told Moses, the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your sin, for it's the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. That was what God told Moses. Why do you think they had the Aaronic priesthood and Levitical priesthood? And every day in the morning, in the evening, they had to offer up a sacrificial lamb. Why? God was ingraining into the Jewish mind that the blood is necessary to wash away sin. All things were by the law purged with blood. Without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness. So that, that, that's why I say you as a Jew should realize that because it's in your religion. It was embedded in your religion. They, those priests had offered up sacrifices every day for the sins of the people. And those animals had to shed their blood. And then the Day of Atonement, the Day of Atonement, the high priest went into the Holy of Holy Places and to where the Shekinah glory is. He took the blood and he sprinkled the mercy seat. See, God is conditioning the Jewish mind that it takes the blood to wash away sin. And when John the Baptist saw Jesus Christ, the first thing he said, he said, Behold, he is the Lamb of God to take away sin. He was the sacrificial Lamb. I know, but you know, the first Christians were Jewish people. Do you know, Jesus was brought up in a Jewish home. Wait, what? Wait, what?